Hey guys, in this short video, I wanna to talk to you about how nettle root can actually optimize or maximize the effect of testosterone in your body. Nettle root is considered one of the premium herbs for treating things like prostate cancer and benign prostatic hyperplasia. However, its mechanisms as to how it achieves this beneficial effect on the body are not so well understood, which is largely due to the misunderstood role of DHT in the body and its so-called causative role in things like prostate cancer. The fact of the matter is, as I discuss in this video, DHT does not cause prostate cancer. If anything, like testosterone, DHT, the more potent form of testosterone, declines with age. And it, like other androgen hormones, would have an opposite effect. It has a beneficial effect on human health by generally boosting the rate of the metabolism as well as having protective anti-stress effects in the body. The truth is estrogen and stress substances like prolactin and even cortisol play more dominant roles in the pathogenesis of prostate cancer. But that's not for this video. If you wanna learn more about that subject matter, be sure to watch this video. Getting back to the point here, the true effect that nettle root has on the body has a lot to do with his ability to actually maximize the effect of testosterone and DHT or dihydrotestosterone. Although there's tons of conflicting and confusing data around nettle root's effect, some studies say that it lowers DHT, others says that it increases it. If we peel back a couple of layers and if we look at all of the effects that nettle root has in the body, the picture becomes more clear. So let's talk about some of this conflicting information. So looking at one side of the picture, it has been said that nettle root can actually lower DHT by inhibiting 5-alpha reductase. This is the enzyme that converts testosterone into DHT. However, in short, if we were to go through and analyze all the studies, first and foremost, this effect is only slight, meaning that there's not a very significant inhibition of 5-alpha reductase and therefore a very insignificant decrease in DHT, if any at all. From my understanding, the whole philosophy or the whole ideology that DHT causes prostate cancer is based in bad science and sometimes intentionally manipulated science to promote certain industries, we'll say. So in short, this idea of DHT causing prostate cancer is physiologically irrational. It doesn't make sense. And if we look at the other side of the picture, where there's more clear scientific evidence showing that nettle root has a beneficial effect on alleviating the symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, as well as in treating prostate cancer, if we look at some of its other effects, the physiological picture becomes more clear. There's two ways in which nettle root is actually achieving these effects, and they actually have a lot more to do with raising the free circulating testosterone in DHT in your body. So it's actually the testosterone, the DHT, that are actually having a beneficial protective effect on prostate cancer and other hormonal imbalances associated with low androgens and high estrogens. First and foremost, what we do know is that nettle root can lower estrogen levels to nearly indetectable levels. It has a profound anti-aromatase effect, which will otherwise increase or optimize the ratio of testosterone to estrogen. And again, that testosterone in DHT has a protective effect on the body, despite controversial, misguided opinions. The other thing that we know about nettle root is that it can positively modulate and even inhibit the sex hormone binding globulin, which is basically a hormone that can bind with receptors in the prostate cells, increasing the effect of testosterone or estrogen on the prostate. And this is beneficial for prostate issues and general hormonal health because if we can modulate the sex hormone binding globulin, then we can increase the amount of free circulating testosterone and DHT, basically maximizing the effects of the testosterone and DHT in your body. It won't necessarily boost your testosterone levels, but it will increase your cell's ability to utilize that testosterone or DHT. At the same time as anti-estrogen effects and its ability to modulate the estrogen binding receptors in the prostate, it can have this beneficial effect on, of course, treating prostate cancer. So to summarize what I'm saying here, it's not necessarily that nettle root inhibits 5-alpha reductase and lowers DHT that gives it its beneficial effect on the prostate and general male health. It's its anti-aromatase 
anti-estrogen effects and its ability to decrease or modulate the activity of the sex hormone binding globulin, which would otherwise bind with the testosterone, making it unavailable for cellular use and function. Instead, it frees up that testosterone, increasing the free circulating testosterone in DHT. And this combination of lowering the estrogen and increasing the cellular utilization of your testosterone and DHT, that's going to have the beneficial effect on your health, particularly too if you are suffering with prostate issues of any type. So for any of you out there that have been interested in supplementing with nettle root, but you've been confused, maybe you've come across some of this conflicting, contradictory information, Hopefully this has cleared up things a little bit for you. Again, in summary, nettle root is a fantastic herb that has been clinically proven in animal studies to lower the sex hormone binding globulin, increase testosterone in its free circulation in the body, and has been proven time and time again in cell-based studies, animal studies, and human clinical trials to alleviate the symptoms of an enlarged prostate and prostate cancer. And again, these effects are largely due not to its ability to lower DHT, but to actually lower estrogen, which would also lower prolactin and free up any bound testosterone and DHT. So that way those androgen hormones can have a beneficial effect on your body. Anyways, we've been getting a lot of questions on nettle root. So I figured I would make this video and clarify some of the last little bit of confusion around this herb. Anyways, that's it for this video. I just figured I'd share this information with you guys. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in learning more, definitely watch the other videos we have here on the channel on nettle root. You can also check out our blog to read posts on nettle root and reference some of the studies and dive a bit deeper on your own. Otherwise, if you're interested in supplementing with a high quality nettle root extract, be sure to also check out our online tonic herb shop. All of that you can find in the description box below.